Raise your hand if you're excited. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Andrew Pinch coming in live from Disney World right now. So we're actually at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So today I'm actually here with my wife, my son, and my sister-in-law, Sarah, who's also an awesome realtor that you can contact anytime if you wanted to move to our area of Florida. So today's video is more so just about the proximity of everything, how easy it is to go from being in your house, waking up in the morning like we did, and just saying, Hey, we've got an annual pass. Let's go ahead and just make a quick afternoon trip after we wrap up some work stuff in the morning. So that's what I love about living in Vero Beach is that we're just an hour and a half away from being able to do all this kind of cool and fun stuff. When you're living in Vero Beach, the quickest way to get here is going to be taking the turnpike. So whenever you do make Vero Beach your home and you do decide maybe your family and everything else will be more comfortable, not trying to find a lot of things doing in Vero, or maybe you've already kind of like worn yourself out with all the cool things, which there is, by the way, a lot of things to do in Vero Beach. But if you're just looking for something different, an hour and a half on the turnpike, so you go west on State Road 60, you take the Yeehaw Junction on ramp to get onto the turnpike, and you can be here within an hour and a half and just make a nice, easy afternoon run to Disney World or to Universal, to Sea World, to Fun Spot. If you're theme park people, which I'm really not, but look at me, I'm like fully embracing the theme park. This is a camelback so I can stay hydrated walking around in the heat because it is July. West on State Road 60, hop on the turnpike, you're here within an hour and a half, and you can easily make a day of this. So just go ahead, hang out with us today and uh, I'll catch you inside. Put on your glasses, buddy. Yeah, cover your eyes. Wow, dude. Yeah, good job, buddy. Just wanted to kind of briefly go over why, if you're a young family or you know you guys have younger kids or whatever, even if your grandparents, why it might be worth it to check out Disney World first. And I'll kind of go in like age brackets. And also, I lived in Orlando for eight years, so a lot of this just stuff came from just from having knowledge of living there. We chose to do Disney because our son, Cannon, is about to turn three years old. Show me the so cute belly, face. <laughs> Whenever he turns three and you're around that age point, there's not a lot of things to do in, well, I guess Universal Studios that still has a lot, but it's still a lot of like big time roller coasters with a lot of things that you have to be a certain height or a certain age, certain maturity point to be able to get onto. At Disney World, you just got like the meet and greets, Toy Story World, you've got all the favorite movies and things that he's seen and characters that he can meet. <laughs> where he met Mickey Mouse and was just like hysterical. And he wasn't even the biggest Mickey Mouse fan to begin with there. It was just like crazy to think that he saw someone on TV and got to meet him in person, which is really cool. And of course, when he gets a little bit older, we'll probably graduate to Universal Studios. And then we'll also move over to like, let's say when he gets a little bit bigger, maybe SeaWorld and Fun Spot you know, with the bigger roller coasters and things like that for them to do. But you've got all these other options there too that cater to as they get older, or if you already have older kids, then you can look into places that accommodate their needs too. So it's not just Disney, it's Universal, SeaWorld, Fun Spot, and all the other plethora of things to do from Miami and the Keys, because we also take an annual Keys trip, all the way up to everything else that Central Florida has. So this is just one aspect of it, but we are definitely taking full advantage. Whoa. What happened? So now let's just briefly talk about the cost effectiveness of living in a place like Vero Beach if you decide to do things like this. There are people from all over the country here. There are people from who have flown across the pond to come here. And when I say that, I mean flown from England, 
flown from Ireland, flown from other parts, you know, sides of the United States. If you don't want to live in Orlando or even the surrounding areas of Orlando, if you want to have a coastal lifestyle, something where you can still have a boat, a jet ski, and be able to enjoy your time on a beautiful beach, right where the tropics begin, and still be able to be a little bit spontaneous with your time and decide just off a whim, like we did kind of this morning when we woke up and looked at each other and sarcastically said, what park are we going to today? So one of the cool things that Disney did is that, like I only bought the one day ticket, but what they allowed me to do is they took that, however much money I spent on that day ticket, and they credited that money towards the annual pass so they actually took it off there so i expected to take a gamble what i was going to do is just say like hey let's buy a day pass see how it is and if we really like it that much then i will buy the annual pass what i wasn't expecting is for them to say hey we'll just take off the money that you spent for buying the tickets today and we'll even take off the money that you spent parking your vehicle because annual pass holders get free parking and then credit that towards the annual pass holder as a huge incentive. So I thought that that was an incredible offer that they did for me there too. You can combine that coastal lifestyle where you're going to the cove, you go into the sandbars, you're enjoying your day, you're enjoying everything about living in Florida and that coastal lifestyle, not having to sit there and bake in central Florida because trust me, eight years in Orlando was eight years way too long uh, in my opinion. It was just not my speed, not my vibe. Too busy, too expensive to live there. And honestly, I just like the fact that I am just super close to a free boat ramp to where I can just launch my boat and go and have a good day, go out fishing anytime I want. I don't have to make a huge day planned trip for the ability to do that. Definitely a perk there too for the cost effectiveness of living in Bureau and having that annual pass holder. Now, since I'm very new to this, I don't have a lot of tips and tricks. So first of all, is this drink thing here. Definitely recommend it. I've seen them all over the place here and I feel bad for the people that don't have it. This gives you over two liters of water that's in your backpack, which is honestly pretty cool. Another thing that I've noticed is that the lightning pass, we paid about $25 each person in the previous other three, but in Animal Kingdom, it was only like 16 bucks a person or 15 bucks a person, something like that. So I thought that that was incredibly worth it. Good value for your money to be able to just skip the line, get straight to the front, ride your rides and not miss any time. I can't keep up with the family right now. They are just booking it. So I think one of my favorite parts about Disney in general is the fact of how lenient they are and how much they allow you to let in. So I think they know that, you know, everyone's got their own dietary restrictions and whatnot. I don't know what their excuses are, but they let you bring in, pack all of your lunches, pack all your waters, your drinks, whatever. So we were able to bring all this food here for Can Man. It's got chicken parm sandwiches. We got his food. And the fact that Disney just allows you to do this and bring you know your backpacks pack all your stuff and we are going to take full advantage of that and we love the fact that they allow us to do this so one negative part about florida of course is the fact that thunderstorms happen all the time in the summer but the best part about living in vero beach and coming here is that this was just an hour and a half trip so we'll just come back another day and we don't feel like we really missed out on anything but check it out here we are eating all the lunch that we packed and it is raining. We're just finding some cover here. Summer's in Florida. It's all different colors. Is that your cotton candy? 
All righty, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us today, seeing all the fun things that we got to do here at Animal Kingdom. So the fact that we can just get an annual pass, spend about, you know, six, $700 on each pass, three and under is free, which Canon qualifies right now. So that's a free passenger that is enjoying it the most, honestly. So the one that gets the most benefit is a free passenger to all this. I just can't be more excited to every day being a new dad and learning all the new cool things that we get to do as a family is just honestly getting more and more fun. I'll leave it at that. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you. Bye.